Hi, I'm Lord Calamity. Welcome to my very unorganized and chaotic YouTube channel. Don't mind this very ugly background. I don't have a studio yet. So my teacher has assigned me to make a human heart model. Too bad I can't go ahead and be like... Say your last prayers. <laughs> now give me an A+. I'm gonna try and make an at least presentable human heart model. Let's get to it. You. I'm thinking of making a base with crumbled up newspaper. You may be wondering, well, Lord Calamity, why don't you just use good old styrofoam? <laughs> well, I used styrofoam for making a earth globe thing a few years back, and that was the most time consuming and annoying project. <laughs> Never working with styrofoam ever again. So I've crumbled up three pieces of newspaper and I'm gonna place them in this sort of triangular shape like that and then I'm gonna wrap them again this should hopefully give a sort of organic heart-ish shape yeah that, that, that kind of looks like a heart right it's got that heart shape thing this looks like a DIY bomb instead of a heart I'm gonna put some wires in place of where I'll, I'm gonna put the blood vessels later. Okay, now I'm done with sticking a bunch of pointy things to my heart. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's get to making the tubey things. This is gonna work just fine. Put on some glue and stick it together. What if I just wrap it like this? Ooh, yes! This is gonna work, totally gonna work, and not gonna flop and bite me in the butt later. Now for the other two be thingies. Now I'm done making the base of the heart. That's a cat. Oh, right, sorry. Now I'm done making the base of the... Um, I know it looks like a mess. I pr I hope it'll, it'll look better um, when I'm done. I added a lump bit here on my left side. Because, uh, it wasn't looking like more like a heart. So, huh. And I cut off a bit of here. And now onto the most time-consuming yet sort of relaxing part. For this step, I'm going to be using my top secret glue solution. And a lot of chopped up paper. Ooh, I have tape here. Oh. It fell off the table. But this year, it ain't gonna be enough. Let's chop up some more. This should be enough. Yesterday, I covered the hard bit with newspaper and my special glue solution and left it to dry overnight. And, oh, and I also made uh, the aorta here a bit thicker because if it were to actually carry blood throughout the entire body, it would just pop like a balloon. It would just pop because the walls are too thin. Okay, so I've sticked this bit here because the pulmonary artery uh, kind of um, overlaps this aorta. Now time to cover all these dingly dangly bits with newspaper and my special glue solution. The forest is a dangerous flea, what was that?
Be careful you might scare it. Oh, it's just a human heart drying itself in the sun. Okay, so uh, this is what I have so far. I just realized the pulmonary artery here is way too freaking long. So I'll be just chopping that off. Chopping it off. Right, chopping it off. Now all I need to do is add a few more two thingies. One, two, three, there, and another one here maybe. So for the extra tiny tubes, I'm just gonna roll this newspaper and hopefully I'll get the right size. Uh, yay long. These three are gonna be for the aorta and then one more for the superior vena cava. Now I'm just gonna cut like a slip here, like that. You'll figure out why soon enough. And then the same thing on the other side, about the same-ish length. Then I'm gonna separate these two. And then cut out its insides. Do the same thing with these three. Now that I've got four cylinders with legs, Time to attach it to the heart door. The way I wanna attach it is what I think is pretty clever. <laughs> it's gonna look kinda like wrap it around like this. And also you should prob probably just put some white glue on, um, on the top of these cylinders cause it might fall apart later. Just to prevent that. And then to make it look seamless, I'm gonna cover it. With more paper. Ta da! One down, three more to go. Time skip. I can now start to working on adding a few finishing touches and then I can now start making the satin. A nice coating of white glue and then put a flat piece of paper on top. Stick it on and let it dry. And then I can just cut off the edges later. Sanding down exposed metal, cutting away excess bits, and mending open wounds later. Finally! I'm happy with how it looks. Now, on to the stand. Originally, I was gonna go for something like this, with the heart like floating. I'm not sure if we can see it. Something like this. But, it's gonna be a lot harder. And currently, I'm running on one milliliter of motivation right now so i'm gonna go nice and easy i'm just gonna stick it on top of here and call it a day choppy choppy snappy snappy <laughs> yay uh, you're out in approximate size i'm gonna go with yay long so about here and this long end goes yay now I'm gonna poke a hole through the center. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna poke another hole about here. Now I'm gonna try and sort of get a 90 degree angle and pour a buttload of super glue inside it. Okay, I think it's in place now. Now I go through the other pokey holy, bend it, and then also put some super glue right there. I think it's in place. The cat stole my tape. Look at those mischievous little faces. They stole my tape. Found it. I got too lazy with this one. Okay. For the beast, I will just stick two slabs of cardboard on each side. Well, looks like it does not want to cooperate. I will put it on till you dry. How is that? Time to let it dry overnight. Or will I? Time to bring out the heat gun! <laughs> Behold! The hot gun! Now I shall dry you within a day. 
because I hate waiting over here. Well, well, the base is kind of unstable, so I'm gonna add another metal thingy right here. Make another pokey hole right there. There we go. I can bend this extra end. I put there. I stick this onto here. So it will set it in place. It's coloring time. I got two glasses of water. I'm gonna be using poster colors. Um, it's a lot thicker than watercolors. And this is where I keep my brushes. The only two I got. Before I paint this, I'm gonna draw out some lines. One, I'm gonna go there, right there. This part here is like another lump. I shall start the coloring process. First, I'm gonna start off with a nice bloody red. And this is gonna take ages. I'll just turn this into a time lapse. looking pretty good now I need to add a little bit of yellow fat like around here and here and there so I'm gonna do that with some yellow dry brush this big uh, bigger brush here is way better when it comes to like dry brushing pray that I don't fail <laughs> this is fine Now time to add itty bitty blood tubes. First I'm gonna go with red blood vessels. I'm gonna try my best to get a pointed tip. There. That's close enough. <laughs> Now to add the blue blood tubes. This is gonna be the exact same as the red ones. Now all I have to do is color this BS in white and then I am done. This turned out way better than I thought. Mostly because I had my expectations very low. Lower than the arts crust. Now I can finally intimidate my enemies at school by showing them this human heart that I totally took from a human enemy. And that's it for today, folks. Bye.